All right, so in the most recent patch for Brawlhalla, they added two more stun frames to Hammer Sair. Now, I'm not a big Hammer player. A lot of you guys know that. And if you watch me, you understand that I don't really like playing against Hammer either. So personally, this change uh, didn't make me too happy. But with this change, there have been a few new combos discovered with higher dex characters. Uh, one of the characters being Cassidy, and then really the only other high dex hammer. Uh, there's some stuff with Yumiko as well. So I figured I'd just make this video to show off some of the combos and maybe a little bit of a guide on how to do these. So Yumiko. let's start off with Yumiko. Let's go to Small Brawlhaven. All right, so I have the bot all set up. Now, as far as I know, these can only be done at like white health. So like zero to maybe 20 damage not entirely sure but i've tested all these combos on zero health and they all work they're all true so all the yumiko combos are interesting because they start with her hammer d sig uh, this is a move that a lot of you guys probably know and use and because it leads into combos like that exam for example usually some one hits that are pretty easy that you can get all right, for all the combos that I can do with Yumiko, you want to keep in mind that when you do hit the air, you want it to be at the peak. You don't you don't want to hit it too early, like there. You, you want, always want to make sure that when you hit uh, the air for any of these combos, that you always hit it uh, as at the very far top as you can. Obviously, if you wait too long, it's not going to be true. But if you do it just right, you're going to be able to get this down and have all these combos be true consistently without much problem okay so the first combo i want to show off is d sig which is started for like i said all of these into ser and then gravity cancel end light okay so that was the combo now let me go back and we can look at it again in slow motion so you guys can get a better picture so you throw out the D sig, and then at the very peak of the D sig, you want to wind up. You want to make sure you hit this air close as well. So as you see, you hit this air close, and then it sets you up just right for the gravity cancel end light. Now this all is pretty tight, and not to mention that this is the uh, least damaging of the combos. So the other ones I'm going to show you both involve doing uh, gravity cancel D light instead of gravity cancel N light. So these are going to be gravity cancel D light into recovery and then gravity cancel into gravity cancel D light Nair. Um, Nair being the more damaging of the two, but let's first do the recovery one. Okay, so that was the recovery version of the combo. Now let's go back. Okay, so like the other, you start with the D sig, and then into another close air. Instead of gravity cancel end light, you want to do gravity cancel D light. And then you're going to want to chase dodge across, but don't instantly use your recovery. Otherwise, it's not going to hit unless you manage to hit the stomp a lot closer or the d light a lot closer here you see i you know i hit it pretty far away so you gotta wait a little bit before you do the recovery and there's that now i think both of these combos are a lot easier to hit than the gravity cancel end light that probably should be something you keep in mind when you do these now the last one let me show you is the d light into nair Okay, so there was the Nair version of the combo. This is the most damaging one. And to be quite honest, this is probably the easiest one to hit of the three, which makes it even nicer considering that uh, it is also the most damaging. So nothing new. You have the d sig into Sair like all these do. Uh, then gravity cancel d light again, except this time you don't need to chase dodge or anything. Uh, the stomp's going to send them up. And then as you're falling down, just throw out the nair nair covers a wide area just make sure you're moving in to the opponent so like as he, you know here you see me moving left after the stop so my nair can hit and that's the combo with yumiko i guess a little recap the gravity cancel end light version is a 52 damage combo the d light into recovery does 60 
and then D-Light into Nair does 64 to 65, depending on if you want to round up the 64.5 or if you want to round it down. All right, so the next character I want to look at is with Cassidy. Now, keep in mind with Cassidy, you're going to have to use the deck stance to make these true. However, I think a, you're going to see a lot more people, a lot more Cassidy players, I should say, using the deck stance because of what it can do. Um, it's pretty crazy. The combo is about to show you, especially considering how easy they are. So let me just set up the bot, give Cassidy a hammer, and then just bot again. He's at dan he's at zero. Um, let's just change it to Bovar for consistency. I'm not going to have a move or anything. So the first combo I want to show off is Ser into D-Light, into Sidelight, and then finish it off with an N-Light. Okay, so you just saw the combo there. Um, this is the easier of the two to hit. This is a four-piece combo that does 69 damage on a five-defense legend. So you start off just falling Ser. You want to hit it pretty close, and then instantly into that D-Light, into side light, and then you see I finish off with an end light. That's a pretty easy combo to hit. I know it's hard to tell um, if you're not the one doing it, but I can promise you guys, compared to the one I'm about to show you, it, this one is a lot more practical. I mean, I didn't hit true there, but it is a lot more practical than the next one I'm about to show you. However, the next one I'm going to show you is a five hit combo that I think Kyler Alice found. I'll link his Twitter in the description. This is a five hit, 80 damage true combo. So just to run through the moves, you start off with a D-Light and then you're gonna do a chase dodge Ser into another D-Light, into a side light, and then finish it off with the end light. Now, before I do the combo, one thing I wanna note is that you have to kind of have your D-Light hitting pretty far away. You can't be too close. You almost want it to be max distance. Let's do the combo. Okay, so there was the combo. Uh, all five hits are there, as you're gonna see, and we'll run it back through. Okay, so like I said, stomp at max range. Now look at how I do the chase dodge. Sir, it, uh, again, I'm hitting it really close and I'm chase dodging diagonally up left in this case. So you hit the Sare, and that sends it just right. It sets you up perfectly for another stomp. And then into the side light. And then you finish off with a dash into end light. Now keep in mind that when you do hit your D light here, it's not going to work if you hit the D light too close or more importantly too far away. Then you're going to have some dodge frames lying in between the side light and the end light because the spacing's off. But yeah, uh, I just want to do a little bit different of a video. I thought these were kind of cool combos. It's interesting to see that they're making higher dex characters more valuable because you can't do this without uh, nine dex Cassidy. And same with Yumiko. You know, Yumiko is a higher dex legend. You don't see that picked off in too much anymore. So let me know if you like this. Again, like I said, it's something new. Just want to try it out. And let me know if you have any tips on these combos or you found anything else in the comments. So. See ya.